We do not know why this detective chose not to file a criminal charge for DWI back in May, but we spoke with a criminal justice expert who believes it may have been a deadly mistake. Questions swirling surrounding a former Sansom Park police detective accused of mishandling cases, one involving a DWI suspect he let go in May, who six months later is charged with driving drunk and causing the crash that killed Euless police detective Alex Cervantes. What prevented the detective from actually filing the charges? Alex Del Carmen, Tarleton State University's associate dean of criminology, is closely following this case. This is not typical. Lake Worth police say Dylan Molina was drunk when he hit a car last month in this Fuzzy's Taco Shop parking lot, sped off, ran a red light, and killed Detective Cervantes, who was off duty and driving his family. Cervantes's wife was released from a hospital this week after a 25-day stay, now spending Christmas without her husband, the father of their two boys. Del Carmen says there's a chance his death could have been prevented if the detective in Sansom Park did his job six months earlier. There would have been measures that would have been taken that perhaps could have prevented the death of this police officer. This week, we finally learned what happened during that May arrest. Molina was pulled over for running a stop sign. In a report obtained by Fox 4, Molina admitted he'd been drinking. On the scale of 1 to 10, 1 being sober and 10 being the most intoxicated he's ever been, he said he was a 6. According to the report, he said he didn't feel safe operating a vehicle, even though he was on his way to work. He failed a field sobriety test. His blood was drawn at a hospital. He was taken to jail, but the next day, Sansom Park detective Robert Payne ordered his release. Was this detective doing this in other cases as well? Well, Detective Payne, shown here on his public LinkedIn page, was placed on administrative leave in September due to complaints of mishandling cases. He resigned four days later. Eight days after that, Sansom Park Chief Carolyn Gilmore resigned. She previously said the complaints had no validity, according to Sansom Park's current administration. She's now running as a Republican for Tarrant County Constable in Precinct 4. In October, Sansom Park hired an investigative consultant to analyze Detective Payne's cases. On November 30th, three days after Cervantes was killed, it learned Molina's blood drawn back in May was two times the legal limit. Del Carmen says if this case were handled properly, a judge could have ordered Molina have a breathalyzer in his car that would have prevented him from drinking and driving. I would argue that unless there is something that we don't know, uh, this is absolutely 100% negligence on behalf of this detective. I reached out to Detective Payne on social media earlier today in hopes of getting some sort of comment, but our message went unreturned. I also reached out to the former chief in Sansom Park, Carolyn Gilmore, who again is running for a constable position in Tarrant County, gave her a phone call, also delivered a message on social media, but neither were returned.